Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. A few months back I published a video demonstrating how to integrate Todoist into Obsidian for task management. However, today I'm thrilled to guide you on how you can handle all of your tasks exclusively within Obsidian. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. With that said, let's dive right in and get started. Firstly, to create a task using Markdown, simply write a dash followed by a space. This is the typical syntax for creating a list item. Then add two square brackets with a space between them. This forms the basic structure of a task. When you mark this task as done, the status is represented with an X enclosed within the square bracket. A pro tip, you can assign a hotkey for toggle checkbox status. I use command plus enter. This enables quick task creation or marking a task as done. Now, if I press command plus enter, I instantly create a task. And if I press it again, I can mark it as done. With that being said, it's time to bring the task creation and task management to the next level with a community plugin called Task. So open the settings, community plugins, browse and search for tasks. Install and enable. Before jumping to the options panel, let's understand how this plugin aids in task creation. Open the command palette with command P or control P, search for tasks, create or edit task, and the model window appears. Here you can write your task, give it a priority, and you can also choose various dates. If your task recurs, use the recurs option. You can also pick due, scheduled and start dates. The best part is the ability to input dates using the natural language. For instance, if the due date is Thursday and the scheduled date is tomorrow, the plugin pulls the correct dates automatically. Click on apply and here you have it. Want to create another task right on the heels of the first one? Simply hit enter. The plugin will automatically suggest fields for the next task. Let's name it second task and set both a scheduled date and a due date. In this way, you can swiftly create a new task. Now that you know how to create a task through the plugin, let's explore the options panel. First off, you can modify the task format. You can choose either the tasks emoji or data view format. I personally prefer the tasks emoji format as it simplifies the task readability and creation process. Next, we have the global filter settings. Here you can designate a string as a global filter for managing specific checklist items exclusively with the plugin. Let me show you what I mean. The Tasks plugin enables you to list tasks from your entire vault by utilizing a Tasks code block for the query. A Tasks code block can easily be created by writing three backticks and write tasks. As you can see, this query will automatically aggregate the tasks I've earlier created. Now, if I set the global filter, let's say to do, and I apply it to second task, this first task here will disappear from the query. And in fact, now I only see the second task. If you want to use this feature, you can omit the filter from the task description by activating this option. Although not visible in the task name, the filter remains functional. Personally, I opt out of using the global filter, so I will just remove it. Another customizable setting is the global query. Here you can write a query which is automatically included in every task's code block. Let's say I decide to hide the task priority. I can simply write hide priority. And upon refreshing this code block, the task's priority is not longer displayed. Following the global query, there's the task statuses section where you will find all the statuses that your tasks can adopt in order to customize your task management system. 
the ones available by default are the statuses to do, done, in progress, and cancelled. You can map these or add some new ones. Returning to our task, suppose I am engaged with the first task. To switch its status from to do to in progress, I just need to modify the task via the task plugin model we previously explored. Change the status to in progress and then hit apply. Now the task is in progress and once finished, I just need to mark it as done. As you can see, the icon adjusts and the done date is appeared. Lastly, you can enable or disable other options as per your preference, such as the done date on every completed task, the cancelled date on every cancelled task, and the auto suggest task content. Let's return to our note and add some new tasks. For example, new video recording, video script, new article, and call Rob. In this case, the task new video recording will be done after the video script. The Tasks plugin provides a handy feature known as Task Dependencies. Basically, if I launch the model to edit the new video recording task, it allows me to specify that the video script task must be completed before this one. Upon clicking Apply, you'll notice that the task is blocked, indicating it is dependent on another task with this ID, which in this situation is the video script task. This feature can be particularly useful if you are adopting a waterfall project management approach whereby you complete a project in a sequential step-by-step -step process. Okay, now I want to show you some example of tasks queries. So let's say I want to see only the completed tasks. Rebecca ticks, tasks, and then done. Easy, right? As I mark additional tasks as done, they will automatically populate in this list. Obviously, the same method applies to tasks that are not completed. I just need to replace done with not done. Moreover, if I want to limit this list to a maximum of two tasks, I simply need to include the filter limit two. You can also discern the tasks that are blocked and identify the tasks causing the blocks. Given the multitude of filter combinations available, I will leave the link to the quick reference document in the description below, so you can craft any required query with ease. Before concluding this video, I'd like to provide a straightforward example demonstrating how you can integrate the Tasks plugin with another amazing community plugin, QuickHead. This combination facilitates some interesting features. For those unfamiliar with QuickHead, I've already covered it in an introductory video. You can find the link in the description below. So, open the settings and install QuickHead. Additionally, we will require a plugin called Natural Language Date. This allows us to input dates using natural language. Now, suppose you have a projects folder containing specific project nodes. Each of these nodes has a tasks section, and you want to create a single command streamlining the task creation process relative to these projects. So let's open QuickAd, select Capture as Choice, name it as New Task Project, and click on Add Choice. Open the options and here, under the file name option, I don't want to specify neither a name format nor a file name. 
I want to select the node where the task will be sent during its creation. To achieve this, I just need to indicate the folder containing the nodes I'm looking for. In this case, projects. Activate the task format. And I also enable the insert after option because I want to insert my tasks right after the tasks heading that is within each project node. Lastly, I want to customize the format of the capture. For example, I can use something like this. Inside curly brackets, you can specify valuable data to be entered during the task creation process, such as the name of the task, the schedule date, and the due date. Here, you can see the preview of the expected outcome. Now that we are ready, enable the command and give it a go. Open the command palette and search for new task project. Choose the project node. Specify the schedule date. The due date. And insert the task name. If I open the project one node, you'll notice the task added right after the task's heading. And that's all for today. Though Obsidian isn't a task management software, it's highly versatile, and with the right plugins, it evolves to serve a multitude of functions. To streamline task management, integrating Todoist and QuickCAD plugins provides the most efficient solution. In my opinion, these plugins are your best options within Obsidian, allowing you to build a viable task management system where you may not have initially expected one. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Are you using Obsidian for managing your tasks or do you prefer a different software? Also, let me know if you're interested in watching videos regarding this topic using other task-oriented applications. You can follow me on X and Mastodon and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my website for further content about productivity, PKM and note-taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.